Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this specific video, we are going to discuss about this amazing platform which is called as Augment Code. And if you don't know about Augment Code, it is an AI powered uh, developer platform designed to help software engineers understand, debug, navigate large code bases much more efficiently. And it also offers tools like AI agent, completion, chat and code editing features. Right. And recently I have been using this uh, extension even in my VX code and uh, to build my product specifically and the kind of productivity that I'm actually getting is quite amazing. So definitely this is really, really good for an experienced developer. Uh, and that is the reason why I'm making this specific video. Just to talk more about this, uh, this entire, uh, uh, you know, the features in this specific platform is built for experienced developers who are specifically working with large code bases. It is fully compatible with VS Code, JetBrains, Vim, GitHub and Slack. Uh, and recently on April 2nd, you know, they have also launched uh, the AI agents, you know. Uh, the AI agents, if I talk about, like, uh, you can see that the coding agents knows you and your code base best. Uh, I'll be showing you an amazing demo, like how you can get started with this. Uh, and here also it is written the first AI agent built for professional softwares, engineers and large code bases. You know, you can install it in VS Code and all these specific IDs that is given. Let me let me show you much more information. So here, here you can see it with respect to top HWE bench with 65.4%. It is on number one on the verified leaderboard. It writes code like your senior engineers. Uh, I'll show you some demos. So you will be quite impressed with this, you know. Along with this, it also has this uh, augment integration with 100 plus native and MCP tools, right? Um, and here is one kind of demo you can see on the left hand side, you know, you're, you're just providing some information automatically all the codes are there. And obviously for an experienced developer who's doing that same kind of work again and again, this becomes very much amazingly like well, right? You can do multiple things over here. Uh, further, one uh, some more uh, metrics are over here with respect to HWE, HWE bench uh, verified. Here you can see an argument. It is in top, right? 64.4%. If I talk about other platforms here like WNB, Google Gemini 2.0, Flash and all, it is better than that, right? And here you can see it consistently outperforms the competition in code quality and reliability, right? So that is the reason why I'm specifically using this. Uh, along with this, there are some more metrics which you can actually see it over here. Now, uh, what I'm actually going to do, uh, just to give you a clear idea and uh, again to talk about like the AI agents that is specifically available over here, right? You can ask questions about your code, you can get advice on how to refactor the code, add new features to the selected lines of code, uh, add new features spanning multiple files, you know. Uh, you, even you can write multiple test cases, you can also say the uh, AI agent to probably write the test cases for you and all, right? Uh, even with respect to GitHub, right? Uh, if you want to co do a new commit, merge branch, do all the stuff, everything it is will be able to do it right and that is what it is beautiful but again uh, in this video i will just show you one example very good example how i can build something from completely scratch and that will give you uh, just an idea like how well my productivity improves with respect to this okay so here you can see uh, how to first of all get started uh, over here you will be able to see that okay i have just created a virtual environment and this is what is my workspace uh, that is available over here uh, the next thing will be that I'll just go to my extensions uh, and let me do one thing. Let me just fi uh, hide my face so that you should be able to see the entire screen. Now here, uh, what I will do, I will just go ahead and search for augment code. Okay. So augment code over here, you will be able to see this. Okay. Augmentcode.com. And the next thing is that uh, I will just go ahead and do the installation, right? So once you do the installation, uh, I've already done this kind of installation before. So it will not ask me to do the sign in. I think it has saved the sign in. Then on the top, uh, sorry, on the bottom right corner, you'll be able to see something called as augment. And this is what is my augment chat. Okay. And here you can see I've done some of the things uh, that is already available with respect to the code bases and all right. Uh, if you are probably starting something new, uh, you should, you should be able to see this completely empty. Okay. And here uh, you'll be able to see that uh, uh, there is like multiple options of selecting, right? And here uh, you'll be able to see that you have an option to select agent. Uh, it uh, If you're using this specific AI agent, right? And as I said, that augment also provides you this AI agent where you can do multiple tasks with respect to code and all. It requires approval for some tools, whereas an agent auto, uh, it will auto run all the specific tools that is uh, uh, available right now, right? So I'll, here I will just go ahead and select the agent. Um, now what I will do, I will just show you one example right now. Here you can see nothing is there, right? 
there is an empty file everything is empty and i'll probably try to use this augment code uh, you know to probably do some kind of coding over here right and here you can see indexing is also happening right indexing code base 31.2 percent so whatever thing we specifically write you know uh, what augment code does is that it does the entire indexing over here so that if we have any questions related to our code it should be able to uh, provide us any kind of answers that is required okay so here i will just go ahead and say hey uh, please uh, please create a, a chatbot let's say with uh, streamlit um, using DeepSeek, okay so i'm just going to use one deep seek model let's say that the deep seek model that i have you know uh, in my uh, application i will also talk about this particular deep seek model because uh, i will be using olama so if i just go ahead and run my command prompt and this is my command prompt if i just go ahead and see olama run and with respect to olama you know uh, i i think long back i've used this deep seek model and the deep seek model version if i remember it was somewhere like deep seek r1 1.5 billion so i'll just go ahead and run this okay this one okay so let's see whether it will run or not and the same model will try to use this okay so i'll if i go ahead and write hi so it is basically answering me and this is installed already in the olama thing right so it is available in my local so i'm just going to go ahead and use this model using deep seek um and uh, i will just say that hey uh, deep seek in olama olama in my local or using olama in my local using olama olama in my local right so please create a chatbot basic chatbot with streamlit using this model uh again installed in my olama using olama in my local and uh, here i will just go ahead and say um also create uh separate separate requirement.txt txt and create a simple py file create a dot py file right so once i probably go ahead and write it here you can see that automatically all agent is selected over here so now this augment code is just going to think over like what all things i've specifically said with respect to this and it will just plan out the entire task that is required right so step by step, it will do all the tasks over here. Right now, it is thinking, you know, what steps needs to be followed, how things needs to probably go ahead. Right now, you can see. So here you can see I create a streamlight chatbot application using this. So first of all, it has created this file requirement.txt, right? So if I just go ahead and see this requirement.txt is over here, right? So streamlight, Langchain, Langchain community, Langchain Olama, everything is got installed. Again, if I go back over here, you can see that it has basically created a, let's create a simple and clean chatbot application in a.py. So I think uh, some file will also come there, which you can rename it. Okay. Um, here you can see some changes also it is showing you, right? In requirement.txt plus is there. I will just say, go ahead and keep all uh, so that this is just like uh, taking a in input from the human being, right? To probably go ahead. And here you can see a, uh, a.py file is there. Um, and if i just go ahead and open this so this is my entire py file that's it right beautiful so entire code is over here see right so over here the model version also i'm actually given right and the best part is that i can also convert this into model coding if i want in the later stages i will just show you that okay but let's see whether it has selected the right kind of model which i had actually asked for right deep seek so i'll just go ahead and search for it yeah deep seek r.1.5 let's see okay model name is basically given over here and this is good enough right and just by seeing this me as a developer since i know how to develop this application here cs is also is basically added everything is added it looks good right now if i go ahead over here so it is basically saying all the changes i'll just go ahead and say keep all uh, all this stuff and all the information is over here they have also explained the code now this work is done uh quickly what i will do uh, just to see, you know, at the end of the day, many people, when we talk about chat GPT or any other uh, stuff, right? Uh, there's a meme that was going on, you know, uh, we probably have to spend uh, a lot of time in debugging, but let's see whether do we need to spend a lot of time. So first of all, what I will do, I will just go ahead and write pip install minus r requirement dot txt. Okay. Uh, clear the screen. Okay. Clear the screen. Pip install minus r requirement dot txt. So once I do that, you'll be able to see that my requirement.txt will get installed.
So guys, now here you can see that uh, the installation of all the requirement.txt has happened. Uh, now it's time that we try to run this code and see that the code that is developed by the augment code is good or not, right? So quickly, what I will do, uh, quickly, I will just go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and write streamlet run app.py, okay? And if you remember, the a.py file have renamed it to app.py. And here is your entire page. And this looks amazing, right? In terms of UI, uh, here you can see model capabilities, everything, DeepSeek code companion. Uh, hi, I'm DeepSeek. Hello, how can I help you? So let's say that this is the model uh, that we are going to use. Uh, again, other models also you can add if you want. So I'll just go ahead and write hi. And here you can see that the processing is happening. It is just going to run from my local Ulama, right, which is hosted over there. Hello, I'm DeepSeek R1 and Artificial Intelligence. Hey, uh, uh, tell me... Tell me whether, I'll just ask some confusion question, whether egg or hen came first, okay? Something like that. <laughs> One of the most common questions. And quickly, here you can see that how fast I was able to develop this, you know? So I'm sorry I cannot answer that question. I'm an assistant to provide helpful and harmless responses. I don't know why this is harmless, but yes. Here you can use any kind of models that you want, right? So uh, that is the most amazing part about this is that you are able to do this. Again, um, let's say that I want to probably go ahead and see some more extensions. So let's say I will just go ahead and index the code base for right now, okay? And right now this indexing will again happen. That basically means I can ask any questions uh, specific to the code that we have basically written also. That is the reason it keeps on indexing with respect to anything that is probably developed over here. You know, The further thing is that I can tell, hey, please use this app.py file and probably restructure this code, you know, restructure this code in a much more modular language, you know, and let's see whether it will be able to perform or not, or whether it will be able to probably provide us at least the code. But this code is completely generated by them, you know, and currently it is running. So here I will first of all stop this, okay. Uh, quickly and then we will just go ahead and do this stuff okay so right now it is indexing the indexing code base basically means it knows what information it has so that i can ask any queries and this indexing keeps on happening as soon as the code is basically written right and that is the wonderful purpose of augment code is that it knows your code base so anything any changes that you really want to make just go ahead and make it okay uh, let's say that i will just go ahead and select the agent again and with respect to this particular agent, uh, I will just go ahead and write, uh, let's say, hey, uh, modify the app.py, app.py file in uh, modular language, in modular oops, in modular oops, or I can say, hey, modify the app.py file and modular coding and use a proper proper production grid production grid code structure okay code structure and uh, here i can also say that hey we can probably use uv project.2 ml anything as such okay uh, production grid code structure with dot github actions now you see see the best part is that automatically uh note augment is not yet fully synced so right now it is basically getting synced, okay? And augment code engine is also there, okay? No worries, uh, it'll try to find out. Let's let this indexing base basically happen and then probably you should be able to get it. Okay, now let me check if there is a specific coding model in code base. Augment code engine is again doing this and this has this specific feature called as augment code engine, right? It is finding any directory or modules name coding in the code bases. I need to understand if there is. So it is probably doing its own thing even though indexing is taking place. Right now the indexing is only 54%, 56%. Just imagine this, okay? Uh, augment is not really fully synced. Again, it is trying to get synced that information with respect to my code base. I've made sure that that syncing is not happening right now, but the syncing is in progress. But parallelly, this kind of thought process is currently going on, right? So right now, I'll just stop this so that I don't want to do this. Let the indexing probably happen completely. And then we are just going to go ahead and do this, okay? So let's let's wait for another couple of minutes till the indexing basically happens. So guys, now once the syncing has been done, you know, I will again go back to my extension. And quickly, I will just go ahead and write, hey, modify the app.py file in modular structure, okay? And let's see whether it will be able to do this specific work or not. Because now it knows the entire code base. 
So here argument code says that, hey, uh, I'll help you modify that app.py to have a much more modular structure. Let me first check in the current content of the file to understand what we are working on. Plan for the modular thing, create a source directory, you know, config file, style.py, component.py, engines, prompt.py. Uh, modify the app.py to import from this particular module, create the directory structure. So guys, here you can see that uh, all the specific steps has happened, right? Create a directory structure, create a source directory for the application code, create subdirectories for different components and config.py, styles.py, components.py, then you had this engine.py, prompt.py, session.py. Then it created a directory structure. It told me to probably create this with a terminal. I said skip it because we don't want this. Then here you can see I'll create a directory structure and files directly. This .py file has got created, components.py file has got created. And just to show you the entire structure, here it is. You can see the source folder. Initially, I just had this app.py requirement.txt and all, right? Now this source folder has this LLM inside this engine.py. You can see for the LLMs over here, the code is written. And just imagine that everything was written in app.py file, right? Now we are doing this modular structure, restructuring. And then you will be able to see all the files have got created. Then you have this prompt.py. Then with respect to utils, you have the session.py. You have for this UI, components.py, right? And uh, config.py, you know? And uh, here you can see that session.py. So all the stuffs are basically there, right? Uh, later on, like if you probably go ahead and sh see this, uh, since this is currently going on, I just have to probably click on stop. Finally, let's create a simple init.py in each directory to make them proper Python packages. So that part is also done, right? So this is summary of the changes. You can see source folder, UI folder, everything is there, right? Simplified app.py reduced 129 lines to 52 lines. So if you probably go ahead and see this, now this is just how many? 52 lines, you know, before everything was there inside this, right? And here you can see maintainability, each module has a single responsibility and all, all these things, stuffs are there, right? And uh, the next thing is that I uh, to run this particular project, you just need to go ahead and write uh, pip install streamlit, which we have already done it, I think. Streamlit run app.py. It also say, gives you an option to run a directory from the terminal. Okay, So let's go ahead and run this now. I think, see, I've not done any much changes. All the changes has been done already by this. I will just go ahead and run streamlit, run app.py. Okay. Uh, hope so. It will run. Okay. So here it is, right? Beautiful. The same code structure. Initially, we were just running one app.py file. Now I have this. Now DeepSeek model is basically selected. I'll just go ahead and write hi. Okay. Let's see whether it will work or not. Right now, just one app.py, the entire model structure, we have done it with augment code uh, AI agent. Okay. Hello, I'm DeepSeek R1 and artificial intelligence. Perfect. Provide me what is, or I'll just ask a simple question. What is 2678 multiplied by 678? Oh, I'll just ask one question. Let's see whether it will be able to give me the answer or not. And this is actually happening in Olama, right? In my local lab probably install this so quickly the result is over here all this information is basically coming up right isn't it just beautiful trust me like just imagine the kind of productivity specifically for experienced developer all i did was this app.py file this was the code it made sure that any kind of errors debugging i don't have to worry about even debugging thing right so accurately it is able to find out the uh, references with respect to the code and that is the reason that indexing basically happens so yeah, just go ahead and try it out. Now, the sky is the limit. You can do multiple things over there. You can I'll just give you an idea, like what all things you can specifically do. Here, I've just used Olama. You can use anything as you like. You can even create rag applications. You can do multiple things and see how good the accuracy of the code is you are specifically getting, okay? So yes, this was it from my side. I hope you like this particular video. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, one all. Take care, bye-bye.